Hi everyone, today we will check 12 must visit temples in Bangalore with transport details to reach these temples and the history behind these temples. First one is Iskon Temple. It's also known as Sri Radha Krishna Chandra Temple. It's one of the largest Krishna Hindu temple in the world. It's called as Hare Krishna Hill as well. It was constructed by Iskon Trust in the year 1997. Mahalakshmi Levat metro station is just 8 minutes away from this temple. You can take metro. Second comes our Big Bull Temple. It's 16th century Hindu temple made out of single granite. It's constructed in 1537 by Nada Prabhu Kempe Gouda. It's world's biggest Nandi statue. National College metro station is just 20 minutes walkable distance from this temple. Third one is Raja Rajeshwari Temple. This temple is located in RR Nagar. This well known temple was built in 1960 by Sri Tiruchi Swamigalu. Raja Rajeshwari metro station is just 20 minutes away from this temple. Fourth comes our Dwadasha Jyotirlinga Temple. This temple located in Omkar Ashram in Omkar Hills. There are 12 representative Jyotirlingas located in one single temple here. Raj Rajeshwari metro station is 5 km from this temple. You can take auto or cab. Fifth one is Panchamukhi Ganesha temple. Here Lord Ganesha is with 5 faces. Each head of Panchamukhi Ganesha symbolizes Pancha Koshas. From Kengeri metro station you can take BMTC buses or you can take auto. Sixth one is Shivoham Temple. This temple is situated on Old Airport Road and was built in 1995. It features 65 feet Shiva statue. Statue is seated in meditative posture with his Damura and Trishula. Indira Nagar metro station is 4 km away from this temple. Seventh one is Banashankari Temple. Banashankari Temple on Kanakpura Road is Bengal's one of the oldest and well-known temple and was constructed by Subramanya Shetty in 1915. From Banashankari Metro Station, the temple is just 5 minutes away. You can walk to the temple. Eighth one is Kari Siddhi Anjaniya Temple. This temple is in octagon shape and attracts thousands of devotees every day. Being inspired by Purnapala and Samarpan Puja in temple, devotees offer coconut to Lord Hanuman and ties it in temple to favor their wishes. The Panjalinagar metro station is 2.5 km from this temple. Ninth one is Gavi Gangadhareshwar temple. It was built by Gautam Maharshi and Bharadwaj Muni in Vedic period and renovated in 16th century by Kempe Gauda. Architectural beauty of this temple allows sun to illuminate the Shivalinga for just one hour every year. That's on Makara Sankranti. National College Metro Station is 1.7 km from this temple. Tenth is Ragi Goda Anjaniya Swami Temple. It spread across 5 acres in Jayanagar 9th block. It was established in 1972 by Ragi Goda Sri Prasanna Anjaniya Bhakta Mandali Trust. Rastri Vidyalaya metro station is 2 km away from this temple. 11th one is Kadu Maleshwar Swami temple. It was established in 17th century by Venkoji, the brother of Maratha King Shivaji. Kadu means forest which refers to the greenery around this temple. Sri Rampura metro station is 2 km away from this temple. Twelfth one is Shanmukha Swami Temple. Located in Shungagiri Hill on Mysore Highway, Gopuram has six faces of Shanmukha and is visible from 2 to 3 kilometers away as well. RR Nagar metro station is 4 kilometers away from the temple. I have added metro line map as well to make it easier for you to locate the temples. So thanks for staying with us and in upcoming videos I will make detailed video of all these temples. So please stay tuned and do not miss to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to this channel.